What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As many of you guys know, the Blumfest 2020 just happened and there was a Halloween Kills panel and a new teaser just dropped and it had me so excited. I was sitting there with my Halloween blanket all cuddled up, ready to go. They dropped this thing and it was amazing. All right. You thought the Let It Burn teaser gave you goosebumps and got you a little giddy? This one this one really does it. And man, I talked about it on Slash and Cast that like, I don't know, I feel a lot less hyped for Halloween kills. Eh, scratch that. That line was bullshit because I am more hyped than I have ever been. This was the coolest thing ever. And now I'm okay. I can wait another year now. I just, I, they, they re, they re pumped me with gasoline. I'm good to go now. But there are some things that happen in this teaser trailer that we have to talk about. All right, I got like 16 different images that we're going to go through right now, break them down detail by detail. I have a reputation of doing this and finding spoilers. So just a heads up, that could be spoilers. I don't really think there's anything in here that's really spoiler driven. So I think you're safe, but I just want to give a heads up because I did that to you last time and I don't want to do that to you this time. All right, with that, let's dive into the first image, the mask in the middle of the street, Michael. Uh, so, so you could assume it's Michael walking up and picking this thing up. And when he does grab it, we do get a good look at some of that charred side of that mask. You got his wounded hand all wrapped up. He's found a way to get through that shotgun blast to the fingers. And he's off again. Why is the mask in the middle of the street? I don't know. I, I don't know why the mask in the middle of the street. I, you would assume that something occurs to make that happen. Or perhaps, like a lot of movies do... This could just be a trailer shot, and only a trailer shot. But regardless, it's cool to see. It gives us a good look at the mask, and it gets us a good look at wounded Mikey's hand. So I'm glad that that's still going to be very much noticeable within the movie, and it's good to see that charred mask. And we'll get some more of those in a little bit later in this video. Michael looks good, man. He looks really good. Michael also delivered quite a slash, it appears, to someone here giving them a good gash across the throat and or chest. And you do, again, kind of see a little bit of his face here, mainly just that that bullet wound that came from Karen as a result uh, at the end of 2018. But the other side of his face, where all that burning is intentionally lit in a way where it's hard to see that. Uh, shout out to them for doing that. Next picture here, Lori, clearly at the hospital, a doctor behind her, but she's seeing something. She's seeing something that she don't like, all right? What could that be? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Next picture. Now this next picture here, to me, it's a little difficult to tell, but based on the wardrobe we're seeing and in motion here, I believe we're looking at Lindsay Wallace here running away from Michael. We saw earlier that someone gets pinned against a car. It looks like this is right afterwards. Looks like we have Lindsay running away from Michael in the background here. A juicy chase scene indeed. Reunited after 40 years. It's going to be quite the showdown seeing Tommy and Lindsay face off with Michael again. Next picture. Here you got Nancy Stevens, Marion, back doing her thing, coming to be involved in this mob. And she has a very OG reference here. The hand, Michael's hand coming down, breaking the side of the window. She's got gun in hand like Loomis. She ain't fucking around this time. But uh, clearly this is a reference back to the OG when Michael originally steals a car to get back to Haddonfield when escaping Smith's Grove Sanitarium. That's exactly what we're seeing here. Michael breaking the window again. This time, no wrench can be seen. Uh, little things. I like it. Next picture we have here, Allison walking out of the hospital, looking determined as shit, looking angry, man. Like now, she she's stepping into that Lori role. She's stepping into... All right, dude, you're not messing with my family anymore. It's me and you, Michael. And I think we're going to see a lot of that. I think we're going to see Allison go toe to toe with Michael throughout this movie. This is her time. It's her time to shine. And like David Gordon Green was saying during this Blumfest panel here that, you know, 2018 was setting up Halloween kills. 2018 established Allison. She was a tough chick that wasn't going to take anything, wasn't going to take any shit from people. And now that's really going to be the case in Kills, is she ain't taking shit from Michael anymore. Exciting. I can't wait to see her really shine in Halloween Kills. And the same kind of goes for Karen here, still rocking her Christmas sweater, looking down, looking not so much defeated, but a winner. 
Uh, it looks like she could be looking over Michael himself. Perhaps just knocked him down to his feet again. Of course, the end of 2018, she finally gets to shine. She gets that, that gotcha moment. Uh, which was the best part of her in the entire movie. I hope we see a little bit more of that side of Judy Greer in Halloween Kills, because otherwise she was kind of annoying. She was, she was a little annoying in 2018, let's be honest. So I hope to see her shine brightly, but I also think she might bite the bullet, folks. Think she might kick the bucket. She could be uh, she could be Gonzo after this movie. We'll see what happens, but hopefully she goes out being a badass like she looks in this photo. Here's a better look at Lindsay Wallace back at it. It's good to see her back, I'm telling you. I, I'm excited to see that battle that's going to happen between Tommy, Lindsay, and Michael. But uh, there she is, back in her glory, looking a little nervous. Shining flashlights. Things are getting intense over there for Lindsay once again. Here we have someone loading up a handgun. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to tell who this is. But based on the jacket, it, there's potential that it's Anthony Michael Hall as Tommy. Although this looks like a leather jacket, I don't really think that's what he's wearing. So it's a little bit difficult to tell. We could potentially be looking at a cop. This could be a police officer. But like I said, it's a little hard to tell. And you know, in the original teaser they showed for Halloween Kills, we got a look at Hawkins laying on the ground, assuming that he's probably still alive. That's really the only reason to show him. You know, maybe that's what that is. I don't think that's the case here. Uh, you know, even if he is alive, the dude's got two broken legs and is in the hospital. So that if we see him, it's probably in that way <laughs> in a bed next to Lori. Uh, but either way, someone here is loaning a handgun, taking shit pretty serious. The mob mentality is about to get real in Halloween Kills, and we'll talk about that again here in a, in a second. Next picture, this is the good one. This is the one that shows a very good look at charred Michael Myers, the burnt man himself. That whole side of his face burnt to a crisp. It's We always wanted to see it, right? Resurrection gave us a little bit of taste of what that looks like. Gave us a little bit of a taste of charred Michael Myers, and but we never really got anything with it. Now, now's the time. And I'm very excited to see that look throughout the whole movie in Halloween Kills. Definitely a creepy look. If you're going to add texture to that face, that's the way to do it. Now here we're clearly at the hospital and we are seeing people with inside the hospital screaming out at something going on outside of the hospital. Lori's really freaking out. And based on this picture that happens later within the teaser trailer, there's clearly a mob built up outside of this hospital. The ambulance is in frame there, so we can assume we're at the hospital. And they seem pretty pissed off. Things are going down. I think Michael might show up right about now and start dropping motherfuckers at this mob. I think he might take out a whole bunch of people at this mob, and Lori is stuck inside watching it happen. I think that might be what we were seeing with Lori screaming out from inside the hospital, looking out at that carnage. For the next picture here, we have Anthony Michael Hall being an absolute champ, coming in with his baseball bat, looking tougher than ever, looking to be the man that's building the mob up and getting everybody going to go take on Michael and really shut this town down. This ain't happening again. I think that's his whole mentality here. You see Marion in the background, which I appreciate as well. And we could assume that that's Lindsay next to Marion all around. I'm, I mean, I love it. Anthony Michael Hall coming in as Tommy was a great choice. Next photo here, Michael grabbing a, a sweet old man through the window, pulling him in. You know, the body count, who knows why this happens? Who, know, who knows why Michael decides to grab this dude? It doesn't really matter. The point is that Michael is just not fucking around this movie and is just taking people like crazy. It brings us back to that Steadicam shot in Halloween 2018 where Michael decides to just kill off random people within their households, leaves the baby behind, which was nice of him, but yeah, just goes and, and is taking people down just because he can. And I think we're going to see even more of that in Halloween Kills. And then to wrap things up, one last big scream from Andy Matichek as Allison, really letting this thing go. She is all out screaming up. She sees something she don't like. She got some blood on the forehead. All right, so clearly she's already had a little bit of a bout with Michael in some way, shape, or form. And this could all be part of one big chase. What is she seeing is the question. Who is dying there we do not know now based on the location i it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but that could be that could be the big karen moment that could be the adios to judy greer who knows we'll find out in one year <laughs>
man, it's so long. It, it It's very upsetting that we have to wait that long. But like I said, I have a whole new revamped energy after this teaser trailer. It was so cool to see it. And, you know, having Jamie Lee Curtis's voice as well play through the beginning there, that also gives me goosebumps. This trailer was amazing. If you haven't seen the thing in its entirety, in its clean go, link in the description. But I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. I hope you learned some new things based on what I'm showing you in detail here. If I missed something and you noticed something, let me know in the comments below. That's what we do here. Uh, we're a team, me and you. We're a team to find everything. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.